So we're looking at your uh, 2019 painting, uh, Broadway and Grand Street. Right. That's what I call a big boy. How big That's, is it? Um, it's 30 by 50. Something that really stands out to me about this one is the fact that the street is wet. I mean, mm -hmm. when, when you have a puddle like this and then you're, you're trying to capture the reflection and you have the headlights over here glistening, I mean, is that, is that a more painstaking element of this painting or it's just as difficult as anything else? Well, listen, I believe to do anything well, I mean, as, as uh, the great um, philosopher, Dutch philosopher Spinoza said, all things excellent are as difficult as they are rare. So something like this involves, um, you've got to get past the particulars. What you're trying to create is the, the overall sense of mood, the movement of light. The big movement of light is what you're looking for. And that, that's that radiating light from the, the, the pinpoint of the central perspective as it radiates outward. And there, everything you do should contribute to reinforcing the movement of that light. So that's, that's, the, that's the biggest thing you're looking at. And there are, there are many ways you do it. Like the darkening, if you look, the corners darken, right? So even early in the painting process, I'm laying down washes that create almost a horseshoe of darkening so that the bowl of light is pushed to the center of the painting. So there are all these undertones, big wet and wet washes that precede the details that direct your eye into that light in the distance. 